welcome you to the Accra Sports Stadium. It's a venue for the game between Inter Allies Football Club and Accra Hearts Football. It's a third week game of the 2020-2021 play. And quite frankly, when you look at Manaf, who's been introduced to today's setup, he's going to be orchestrating the creativity that made for to feed in the balls to Patrick Razak, Abednego Tete, and Obin Kojo Jr. Hearts Football in their white dresses with the rainbow colors and Inter Allies are in their black and red dresses over black shorts and black horses to match here at the Accra Sports Stadium. And for Intalize, they've, they've just made one change. Kujo is out for Abanga, but Abanga moves to right back, and then Aqua moves to the right wing. Aqua is a regular right back for Intalize, but because of his offensive abilities, he's been moved to the right wing today. It tells you what Henrik wants to do with his team today. An offensive approach without a bio. Yeah, absolutely. He needs all the support he can get in offensive positions. Pretty much a very straightforward line of 4 4 2, but that is where the wing the wingman must be tracking back to help the fullbacks. Otherwise, they'll be in trouble with Obinjin and the pace of Patrick Razak. So that's confirmation of Asabok's lineup. Razak, Tete, and Obin leading the attack with a place for Lawali Mamani. But what a debut to look forward to for Abednego Tete. A lot has been said about him. He gets his chance to line up for the Phobians under Edwin Odu. Yeah, he's been, he's been tipped to be the one to bring the goal scoring touch for them. You know, last season, Kofi, Koji and uh, Esso did their part, but many said they were not clinical enough. Maybe it's Abednego Tete then that is going to be getting the goals on regular occasions for them consistently. And that is what they've loved and that is what they need. Can he provide the goals? Can he be the one to put the ball in the back of the net for them regularly here to folk? So Paul Abanga comes in to replace Collins Kujo. And then there's a place for Ivan Peglo. Maxwell Hansen is our center man for today, assisted by Roland Adi and then Pascal Mausi. Julian Nunu is our fourth referee. Important for to focus start on the front foot and try to put pressure on it allies and ask questions of them because they are not in the most comfortable place or the most uh, confident place right now. They are lacking goals and they've not won in the game so far, only picking up a point. They lost in Karela and they would want to respond. It allies have lost Frank Asenke. A dependable defender who excelled brilliantly for them. There's no Adebayo, but same for us. There's no Kofi Koji, there's no Emmanuel Lesser. And those two players featured prominently in the previous game they played at this stadium when it ended 1 1. Yeah. So the, the players that made the difference on that day are not here today. They need new heroes. Somebody must step up, somebody must carry the team. For Brahe and Alex Asso. With them now to find the goals for entire life, but for hard folk, then we saw Patrick Razak and his enterprising run the last time out. Can he then put the balls on the plate for Bednik Butete? What about Ben Jr.? He's moved out wide there. Where does he prefer to play though? Through the middle or out wide? We shall see. So we see a Bednik Butete start, or Ben Jr. keeps his place operating from the front line, and the former Bechem United striker makes a return to the domestic scene in the jerseys of Hatsabok. Game underway. Welcome if you just joined us. We're live from the Accra Sports Stadium. It's in Tarlai's and Accra Hatsabok, Ghana Premier League, match day three. Patrick Razak, lovely turn from Razak, cuts in well, looking for space. Almost the first goal for Hatsabok. I bet Nego Tete, he wasn't looking. But this could have easily been the first goal for Arsenal under one minute. Yeah, and that is what Patrick Razak is all about. A lovely skill there, great best of pace. Trying to play his man through, but he got off the defender and off to the, onto the crossbar. 
that the goalkeeper, Mamed Nego Deta there, there was really no communication between him and his man because his man running onto the ball from that position or being junior could have just been tapping that home, but that is what a striker is want to do. A striker would always want that. Neto finds Razak, turns around his marker. Patrick Razak turns again. Has the book. Has the book. My goodness. Manaf Umar with a glaring goal scoring opportunity. The Phobians are on an early fire. And it's all from this man again, Patrick Razak. Lovely run, a lovely clip over the top for Razak. Checks also his right foot. Katsin holds up to the ball, but the ball breaks kindly to Manaf. Shocking how he missed from that range, but he was always leaning back and falling while he was hitting the ball. It's such a poor strike. Early one in the game, hard to folk have already been presented with two glorious chances to take the lead. And they've blown them, but it's worrying signs now for Inter Allies who are all over the place. Somebody needs to start doing the talking and be the leader. Early chances for Hatsabok. All gone are begging. That's a goal kick taken by Rashid. Sumaila's header. Iman Onete. That's what to find Mohamed Al Hassan. Free kick for Hearts of Oak. Bright start by Hearts of Oak. Really bright start. It's encouraging signs there. You have a feeling the more they give the balls then to Patrick Razak. He is the one who's really looking like the one who could spark in that final third and make things happen for them. Nuru Sule. Imanon Nete. Mohamed Al Hassan loves to come forward and get this one. Ball is stopped by Abanga. Now, Intala is want to make a move of their own. Kojobin Jr. Fadi Ibrahim. Apuka. Free kick for Inter Allies. Richmond Lamte brought down by Emmanuel Nete. Uh, and, uh, Richmond Lamte and Desmond Abuga have got an important job on their hand because there are two midfielders in the middle of the park and they would be, have to be keeping an eye on the three from Hard to Folk in Nete, Lawali, and Manaf. But also they would need all the help from the Emmanuel Ajete and Richard Aqua. They would have to be tapping into the midfield to make it a little bit compact and narrow for her to folk. Leave those two on their own and they could be stretched. Mohammed. Abed Nego. Tete. Imano Lajete fouls Abed Nego. And Max Hansen will not hesitate in taking that decision. Mani loses possession. And yeah, that was nice closing down again by Abuga. He read it pretty well. Knew that they were looking for that one to just approach this man and then stuck out his leg to claim that ball. That is what they would have to be doing. Getting close to the hearts of midfielders and applying the pressure. Not giving them time to think and breathe. Mohamed Al Hassan. Not a good pass from the house of work center back, but he's rescued by Imano Nete. Obin Junior to Patrick Razak. He's got Hashmin, the captain of Inter Allies, to beat. Wants to cut in, but Hashmin has got a long left to cut it out. And yeah, that was brilliant defending there. You always know Patrick Razak is going to go one way. He's going to check onto his right foot, but the timing of it is incredible because, or it's important because you have to get the timing right. It's quick. If you miss the ball and you catch him, he's going to fall and he's going to be asking for a penalty. So that was well read there by the captain. It's five minutes at the Accra Sports Stadium. In Tala is nil. Accra has to vote nil. It's the Ghana Premier League match day three from the Accra Sports Stadium. Both teams yet to win a game in the three-week-old Premier League with has to vote having a game in hand against the Joanna Stars slate for the 9th of December. Kojobi Jr. 
grabbed the brace in that 2 all drawn game against Ashford. Nete, poor pass. Foot up against Mamani Lawali. Yeah, it's been a just as dangerous play. I mean, the ball was there to be won, but with a foot high, I was asking the referee to make a call. Richmond Lamptey, Hashmin Musa. Lovely touch from Chris Nibraye. Mohamed Al Hassan defends brilliantly for the Phobians. But his effort has resulted in a throw in for Inter Allies. If you take a critical look at this Inter Allies team, it's not only at the bio they'll be missing. You remember Samuel Ama, yep. who grabbed the goal against Hatsabok? Yep. The last time they played that one or drum game here, he's also out. And it was their second top goal scorer. Fad Ibrahim's cross, well cleared by Ma Al Hassan. Hashmi. Desmond Abuga. Richmond Lamte. And Abagnes. Abanga's versatility is obvious here. He normally plays as a holding midfielder, but here he is at the right back. Yeah. One of their more experienced. I mean, it's funny how he used experience for him because he's a very, very young squad. But it's one of their more experienced players who's got a lot of Premier League games in his legs. He's disciplined. He goes about his job decently. So every manager can then trust him to do a job in every position. He can be the force in midfield now. On right back, he could be the one to keep an eye on Patrick Bezak, but it's got a difficult job tonight. Difficult job to do, Paul Abanga. Hashmi. Richmond. Lamte. Gives it away. We spoke about Ama and Adebayo, both of them leaving the side. When you look at the number of goals they scored together, always difficult to replace. They have a similar, similar problem like in Mediama, who yeah. lost Kofi Babel and then Prince of Poko Ajima. Spot on. Spot on. Now allies. Lamte. Ho. Oh, Aqua. Falls in the process. But Abanga will pick it up. Yeah, I think the pass was in behind him a bit. And he got a turn onto the ball, so. Not too clever. Not too clever. Mamani. Moa Hassan. Nurus Sule. It's not a good challenge from Abednego Tete. Yeah, it's interesting that he's dropped that deep to that part of the field because he's got three midfielders behind him. And uh, if he wants to be getting out amongst the goals, then he has to be sticking up front there a lot more. But that was a striker's challenge. Interesting, though, to keep an eye on Nuri Sule and uh, Moa Hassan. Not sure who's playing the left-hand side of centre-back or who's playing on the right. They seem to be swapping as the game goes on. Got one, at one point, Nuri Sule is on the left in centre-back and uh, Moa Hassan is on the right. Another time, you see them uh, swap places. Interesting to see how that works. Interesting to see how that switching works because... Inter allies can get them punished if they don't get it right. Rashid gets the free kick. Rashid was impeded in the process. Yeah. And that is so important when you've got a man like Abednego Teta, he can flick on the balls to either Patrick Razak or Benjinia. On that occasion, goalkeeper read it off his line to claim it. Abinjina got stuck his leg into that but it was brave enough to gather it again referee spotted that and called it for a foul but we need to feed off him a bit no good at that or being junior patrick razak we need to feed off him make the rounds in and around him when the area balls are coming 
It's 10 minutes at the Accra Sports Stadium. Into Allies, nil. Hats about nil. This is Star Times coverage of the Ghana Premier League 2020-2021 from the Accra Sports Stadium. Abuga, Ajete, Abuga, Richmond Lamte, Fadi Ibrahim, Abuga, loses possession, referee calls for a free kick against Hatsabok. Yeah, it got stuck in between two of those players, but it was clipped on the ankle by this man, Manaf. He's a creative player, Manaf. Uh, not his greatest attribute to put in tackles, but when he's on the ball, he, he's got a vision to pick a pass or to weave through bodies. But it's shocking how Ansabocher and Afutu have lost their places in this squad. Freaking taken by Fad. Goalkeeper Atta flops, but hats of work will wait at his thumb. Robin Jr. loses out to Ashmeen. And Lamte will find the central defensive partner, Issa Ali. Fadi Ibrahim. Abuga. Good play from him to Ali. This is so comfortable moving forward at this stage. Far to Abuga. Switches to Abanga. Nope. So that's the man we're talking about. Yeah. Afutu. Not sure regular bencher bench player but here he is on the bench i'm sure he's going to raise a lot of eyebrows um not too many people saw this coming he's, he's one of their more imposing midfielders who commands that area of the park well but the manager says it's for tactical reasons so we have to see how tactically that unfolds and how that eight had to focus can score goals as well to allies Alex Asso unable to keep hold of that one Nete visionary pass to Radio Buka up against Abanga we're looking forward to an exciting contest between the two. Absolutely. That was a lovely one that he knew he was going to want to run past him, so he just gave him that one yard and made a great step to it with his long legs. Clearing it. Abednego's header is cleared away by Issa. Mohal, awesome. Next is fouled by Braille. He gets the free kick. Yeah. It's a foul. This is that hand or arm around his neck. That that draws the foul from Nete. Larry Sumile's cross in. Fad Ibrahim. Lovely touch from Abuga. Here is Imanola Jete. Switches trying to find Alex Asso. Has about tidies up well from Nurusule. That's a push from Abed Nego. Yeah. And I'm sure that Interlies will look back on how they started again and be happy with what they are doing at the moment. They seem a lot settled. They were a bit rattled at the start, giving away two glorious chances which Hatterfolk failed to take. At the moment, they seem to have settled quite well and their passing game is on. And how to hook now will rule those chances. An early lead could have done them a lot of good. It's still goalless now. It's still goalless. We've done a cut of an hour mark here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Hashmin, Lamte, Ajete, Fadi Ibrahim, Patrick Razak wins the ball for Hatsabok. He's fouled. Free kick for Hatsabok. Such a brilliant runner. Such a powerful runner, Patrick Razak uses his body so well. He just knew that he had to get in between the ball and his man. If he's not getting the ball, surely they're going to come for him and that's going to be a foul. Radi. 
Fadi Ibrahim has up his game. Roland Kosibi had a nightmarish appearance in that game against Hatsabok in the colors of Ashanti Gold. When you are left back in Ukraine against Razak and operating from the right, that must be a free kick. Yeah. So, Nete. First man to get the yellow card here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Nope, cynical. It was unnecessary for him to dive into that challenge. It's still early on in the game. It's in the middle of the park where you are rest assured they've got bodies to cover up for even if he blows the ball. To dive him in the manner in which he did. Not necessary and now he's put himself in tr into trouble and he has to think about the next tackle. And it's already 16 minutes. A long way to go for a defensive midfielder to pick up a card. Yeah. Fadi Ibrahim, Richmond Lamptey, Alex Asso, Moa Hassan, Obuka, Mamani. The Nigerian. I bet Nego took a job in. So that's a bit of switch there by Hatta Fox front to be man. I bet Nego has drifted out wide to the left hand side of the attack. Patrick Razak has moved to the right hand side of the attack and Obi Engineer is through the middle. And that is what they've got about them. They've got, I mean, two of those three front players could play in multiple areas. You can even trust Patrick Razak to maybe be your first man because of the pace he's got. So defenders, internalized defenders must be wary of who you are dealing with at one point in time because they can move around and they can be effective as well. Mo, Ahasan, Lamte, sweet pass to Kinsley Braille, Aqua, Abanga, wants to whip in across. Larry Sumaila got ahead to it, but the ball has found Emmanuel Ajete to Fad Ibrahim. Fad with a cross across the face of the goal. Abanga. Ajete connects it, and Nuru Sule without pressure finds Atta, who gets it out of a danger. a foul on Sule by Alex Asso. Yeah, that is an intelligent play there by Sule. He knew he was in trouble once he didn't get this touch right, so he was waiting for the challenge. He knew his man was coming, just got him, himself right across him. And his man obliged. A bit of experience played there against inexperience. Because he was going nowhere, no need to get too close, just put a pressure on him and Asso. In the case, he went too tight and knew Sule was expecting it. The slightest touch and he was down for the foul. Again, is that front three men again? Somebody really knocking onto the ball and asking for runners or being junior on this time, but too far away from Patrick Raza to chase. Mamani Lawale onto the head of Fad Ibrahim. Ajete with a lovely back heel. Amo Alhassan to Larry Sumaila. Gets an instant return. Radio Buka. I get the feeling the shape of House of team has changed. On the offensive, they play with a three back line. When they have their backs against the wall, they revert to the 4-4-2. Yeah. Larry Sumaila. Dangerous, but lucky to get the sympathy of the referee, Larry. Again, when you look at her, I mean, 
when you've got a player like Manaf Uma in your team, what you are looking for then is for him to link the play between midfield and attack. But he's dropped so deep into the midfield that he's not the outlet to link the midfield to the attack anymore. So how to foot defenders are playing those long balls to the attackers, which is not helping. They need to push Manaf up front, find him so he can find the attackers. His positioning at the moment now is not great. 21 minutes. Richmond Lamte. Kinsley Braille. Disappointing from Braille. Of course, that has been the problem with Braille from the last season. His end product has always been negative. Yeah. He does so many things right, but once he gets into the final third, doesn't really have the quality to produce the goods. But he's got such a big fan base in Cape Coast. They'll be watching tonight and be thinking that they'll be hoping that he gets them a goal but that can't get you a goal if your end product is not on he has to switch it on in the truncated league of last season in cape coast yeah he had more fans than a muslim of the home team in cape coast yeah absolutely a native of cape coast joining into allies but it's hard to work on the offensive now razak i thought a one-time cross would have done you give credit to Fadi Brian. Yeah, that was an amazing tackle. They kept his eye on the ball and kept his eye on the run as well. Good Make defending sure. for Moa Hassan. Absolutely. Defenders on their game. That's Patrick Razak trying to use the cross to as a disguise. But his man stuck to the job, kept his eye on the ball and then put in a strong challenge to make sure he was getting onto the ball. Okay. Next thing. Obuka, he gives it away. Aqua, up against Obuka. Clever play from Brady. Yeah. Up in junior. Lovely pass to Abednego Tete. Ali comes up and wins the ball legitimately with Tete claiming there was a foul. Yeah, part of the players there claiming there was a foul. It was a lovely cut back there by Odin Jr. It's that first touch from Abednego Tete that lets him down. Larry to Tete tries to play the one two with Razak, but he's nowhere to be found. Yeah, not on the same way, there it is now. There's no foul there. Came with his head, got the ball. Is that first touch there? That was poor. He when was claiming a handball against Ali. Yeah, when you have a second look at it, you just have a feeling it came against the sun, but what then could he have done? His hand was right across his body, never made him his body bigger with that hand but never use it as an advantage to try and claim the ball i think the referee got his bottom it would have been harsh had that been given but i must also be first to admit that i've seen that given before maybe dallas are lucky on that occasion rashid reacts Obin Junior could have gone a bit further to probe for that one I thought it was a yard or two away from him on the straight trying to drop the ball but it wasn't there Aqua deep cross in no problem for attack. Abanga with a teasing cross, but straight and direct to the goalkeeper. Nete onto the path of Razak with his pace. Can he get to it? I doubt. Ali won't take no chances. Yeah. Strong tackle, but it was there to be won. The ball was there to be won for the defender. Patrick Razak has got the pace, so he's the outlet for Hatifuk at the moment, but they need to get their more creative play on the ball, Manaf. Not seen so much of him since his elements. Manap, obviously yet to impact in this game. Radio Obuka goes past Aqua. Obuka will go for power. Brilliant from Obuka. Just unlucky to have missed target. 25 minutes and half the work are looking good. In one instance, I thought he was in great position to send it across. But he had different ideas and that idea was better than crossing it. As soon as Radio Vuka picks the ball here, right there, I thought he had men in the box for the cross, but took a second touch and lined that one up brilliantly. 
That was just a whisker away from finding the back of the net. What a magnificent hit by Radio Vuka. Right there. So, so close. Could have been the first goal for Hatsafuk. And that's encouraging. Encouraging from the Congolese Radio Vuka. Nearly put the Phobians up by one. Mamani. Obuka. Fad Ibrahim. Lovely switch up to Abanga, looking for Aqua, but Obuka very much alert. Beautiful piece of skill from Obuka. I love this competition. I love this battle between the two. Obuka and Abanga. Mohamed Al-Hassan. Time to score them, Obuka and Abanga. I would say 50 50 so far. 50 50 between Obuka and yeah. Abanga. Nobody really gets in the better of the other, and the competition looks exciting. Razak up against Fadi Ibrahim. Let's say goes down, but he's up. Looks good. Looks okay. Larry. Sumaila. Lawali Mamani. Nete. Tete is offside. Flag goes up against Abednego Tete. Yeah. I'm not sure that ball was meant for him, really. It was just a miscued pass, but it went past for Ben Gini and Abednego Tete tried to claim it. There's he. I thought that ball was very much meant for Ben Gini, but it was a poor pass from Nete. Instead, went through to find Abednego Tete, who was in the offside position. Not really happened for him so far, Abednego Tete. He's coming in with some, some promise about him, some high hopes of him being the one to stick the ball into the back of the net, but he's not troubled the defenders so much yet. But maybe that's what a goal scorer needs, just one, one chance and one goal. Fad Ibrahim. Larry cleverly wins it. Obin Jr. Back to Larry Sumaila. Down the right for Hatsabok. He sends an in-swinger. Razak. He's not your tallest of players to expect him to nod in that one. Free kick for Inter Allies. Yeah. And Larry's in some kind of trouble now. He's calling on the bench, but this is it. I'm not sure there's too much in there as he comes to win this ball from Despona Buga. And that was a lovely shape on the ball. Patrick Razak was the closest to it. You would have been hoping that you got Obin Jr. or Abednego Tete on the end of that. It's a lovely cross from Larry. How many times have we not seen players get into such areas and fluff it? On that occasion for Larry, though, he made the most of it, but he went to Patrick Razak, who wasn't reaching it. He was begging to be scored or begging to be hit. Again, that's the opportunity there. He, he likes to search forward there, and the ship on the ball was brilliant. Patrick Razak comes short, but not just quiet, reaching it. That's the man who's uh, keeping the captain on a warm bench. Mohamed Fatal. Atta looks to spot Tete. He gives it away. Aqua finding Nobuka, a tough customer. Nobuka tries to show strength and power, and he gets the advantage. Yeah, great show of strength. Aqua did well not to force so much because he was going nowhere, and nobody was to his aid. He didn't know that Manaf was right behind him, but. He cleverly does well to win a throwing for his team. Griffith call is for a foul, actually. We've done 30 minutes at the Accra Sports Stadium. Into Allies nil, Hearts of nil. The Ghana Premier League, match day three. A 
Manga won't take no chances. Threads the ball away for Hatsubuk. Throw in. Obuka. No problem to Rashid Saidu, the former Wa All Stars goalie. Yeah, it's, it's a difficult one for attackers because the ball is flow so high up. The goalkeeper has all the opportunity to watch it and come out and claim it. And the goalkeeper is confident and commanding enough, like we saw there from Rashid. Now attackers have no chance. Seems to have clattered into his own man, and the two of them are down and need some help 31 minutes into allies of two men down Issa Ali and Rashid Saidu the goalkeeper and the central defender I think and Odum will take advantage of this break to have some talk with his players especially Razak Abednego and then Mohammed Al Hassan. Yeah. But it's between the two coaches. I think it's this man, Peter Lem, that will be the happier. Having seen the way his team were slow to get started and have grown confident into the game and have uh, been asking questions of how to, how to focus. Having seen so much in the final third of them, but at least they are, they are a bit more you know, steady and stable with their passing and their reading of the game. It could have easily been two goals down. The, early minutes of the game but if it covered well so some news about hearts about before this game there's been widespread reports about the fact that the chief executive officer has resigned from his position so has the book are in the market for a new ceo because frederick moore has decided to call it quit from the phobias it's yet to be released officially by the Phobians. But again, I saw a publication about Hasebo going in for their former coach, Costa Papic. And I've spotted Costa Papic at the Accra Stadium with Frank Nelson, a board member of the Phobians. If Frederick Moore is going, a lot is going to change around the club, that is to be sure. Hashmi. Brian. Into allies offside against Alex Asso. Right call, right time. Yeah. I mean, Brian did well in the midst of all the hard to foot midfielders there to try to squeeze that one through, but Asso just couldn't hold his run or stay onside. It would have been a clear on goal for him had he held that run. It's the first time we've really seen the two of them link up in this first half. Abanga Richmond Lamte Issa Ali Abanga has got space he finds Aqua Lamte. Very silky on the ball. Lamte. Fadi Ibrahim. Good pass and play from Inter Allies. Abuga gives away possession. Here is Patrick Razak. Obin Jr. is a one against one situation. Goes past his marker. Good job, Obin Jr. He's got the advantage. Obin Jr. That was selfish. Razak was a better option. Decided to go for goal. Obin Jr. certainly knows he could have done better. Yeah, I'm not sure he was trying to go for goal there. It's just a poor pass. A miscue pass there. I thought, I thought he was trying to find Patrick Razak. But that was brilliant center forward play by him. Held the ball up very well. And the defender Ali didn't cover himself in glory. He had rushed to that tackle and missed out on it. 
was just trying to wrap his foot around it into the path of Patrick Razak there. Unfortunately, he was executed poorly and went into the near post and wasn't going to trouble the goalkeeper. Offside. Against Kingsley Braille. And that was another chance there going for hard to foot. Just the final quality, that, that final pass was lacking, but this was really close to that was a nice ball by the assistant referee on the far side to call it for an offside. six minutes and it's only six players in the entire life starting lineup that played against that's in the truncated league yeah so here's the team who don't shy away from exporting their price assets when the right price comes they've done it season after season but the question is how are they able to survive without the talismanic influence of Victorian at the bio well it's, it's the club's direction and their policy to identify talent and uh, give them the opportunity of the big stage in the Ghana Premier League your model is to find the talent and export them anyways what is fundamental and primary in every season for them is to stay in the league and keep playing at a tough flight so once they, they they are good enough to stay in the league that should be enough for them but uh, you need certain quality in the side to keep you afloat and at the moment you've not seen much of it not all round to be fair defensively they are sound they made sure they are decent but they lack the cutting edge in the final third in the attacking areas especially when two of your top scorers yeah am i not the buyer absent absolutely fad ibrahim emmanuel ajete that's a foul that's a foul from nuru sule he can't Go without the whistle of the referee. Braille did his time in Ryan. Yeah. That was the boy. I mean, Braille has got pace. He clipped him a little bit. I'm surprised he's not going into the books of the referee because he was from behind. Yeah, because Braille was going to be pulling away from him with that one. He's a lucky man walking. Lucky man, Nuru Sule, not to pick up the yellow card after that tackle on Kingsley Braille. Now, Inter Allies have a free kick. Fad Ibrahim. Fat swings one in, Moa Hassan, away by Razak. Fat spotted him all along. Abuga, poor pass from Desmond Abuga. Bin Jr. Can't go past the banga. Good tackle from the right back. Oh, tearing from Obin Jr. Yeah. He loved to use his body well and use the pace he's got, but Abanga also showed great strength there. That was great defending by him. He's been solid today, Abanga. No point. And going against the goalkeeper at that stage, I bet Nego Tete. Yeah, Patrick Razak, they're trying to improvise and get something on target. It wasn't going on target there, but I didn't see I bet Nego Tete doing so much that I thought the, the goalkeeper misjudged the flight of the ball. You don't want to fault Tete? But he didn't put in a challenge to be fair. He just was trying to make himself some nuisance to the goalkeeper but maybe the goalkeeper was keeping an eye on him while he was moving off his line so he perhaps misjudged that that flight of the ball Look awkward that is him it's 40 minutes already and the 
Inter Ally still seeking the opener here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Yeah, I bet they put that So technically, Hatsabok and Inter Allies have met in the top flight division on eight occasions. Inter Allies have won just one, Hatsabok have won three times, and four of those games have ended in draws, including the very one last season. Yeah. So the Phobians have an upper hand in terms of the statistics, but the game is on, and after 41 minutes, there's no score. Razak is looking dangerous. Patrick Razak! Glorious opportunity. Fails to bury it. And he knows too well this could have easily been House of Oaks first goal, Patrick yeah, Razak. It's a lovely pass to me by Nete. Razak has got the pace on his man, so it's always going to beat him. But then you see the defender asking his goalkeeper to step off his line and make himself big or ask questions of Patrick Razak. He stays on his line. I thought that was poor decision. That was a very poor decision to stay on this line because he could have made that head run to gather the ball or put some pressure on Razak. It's Razak that feels himself in that feels himself in that moment, I should say. I thought maybe, just maybe, I didn't know the goalkeeper wasn't going to move off his, off his line. He could have taken a touch, steadied himself, and applied the finishing touch. Went for the first time and blew it. Manaf Uma coming into the picture with three more minutes to go. Oh, lovely play from Radio Buka, sends in the cross, away by Hashmin. Lovely play from Lamte, no questions about this, this is a free kick. Manaf is claiming innocence. Yeah. Perhaps he got something to the ball. I, I don't think it was a dangerous play there, here. Yeah. Just went, went in there to claim the ball, and there's, there's no foul in there for me. You can see the expression on his face, he looks disappointed. Braille. Aqua sends across Larry Smiler with a timely header preventing Havok as Emmanuel Ajete was just lurking around that area. Yeah, that's great defending by him. He doesn't want to take chances. In the corner kick, and Nuru Sule seems to have pulled a muscle. He knows. Yeah. It's not a good situation for him. I mean, when, it's, when your muscle is going as a player, you feel it. It's that sharp pain that prevents you from moving freely. Or that sharp pain that makes you not even want to move. Robert Adusoa might just get his chance to star in this game. He's the only center back on the bench for coach Edu. And so if Sule isn't past fit enough to continue this game, then Ado will slot into partner Moa Awesome. Yeah, yeah um, throughout last season was the two of them really that played a lot more games together, Moa Hassan and Ado So it's not going to be an unfamiliar side. It's going to be a very familiar one to the goalkeeper and to everybody around the team. So let's see how that one goes. Paula Banga lines up for the corner kick. 44 minutes. Watch out! A bit of confusion in that box. I see Braille, Abuga, Obuka, and then goalkeeper Ata trying to slide it out in that box. Abanga lights up for the corner. Abanga decides to go for a pass. Lamte beats into the ball by Obuka. Free kick for Hatsabok. Yeah. You can quite clearly see how Hatsabok are trying to defend that set piece. No zone marking anyway. It's one is to one. Man marking very much in that box. Everybody has a responsibility, everybody has a role to play in defending the set piece. So once that ball came short, there was somebody to start the running out of the box to close it down. Paula Banga. He's 
fixed in effortlessly at right back. And he's been one of the most consistent men for allies in the last couple of seasons. He's a delight to watch in midfield, but he's given a good account of himself at right back. Hashmin with a header from Abednego's cross. Aqua against Mamani. Free kick. Mamani Lawali brings down Richard Aqua, the Nigerian import. His first start for the Phobians. He came off the bench against Ashgold and gave glimpses of some quality football. Yeah, not seen so much of him today. He's just been quiet about his job. He's, he's really stuck into very decent areas with positioning, but when he's had the ball, I've not seen him, you know, do so much with it. Nete. Lamte wins it. Fadi Ibrahim to Richmond Lamte. Good play from Alex Asso. Goes past Moal Hassan. Braille is interested in the chase. He does well to get possession. Kingsley Braille. Larry Sumaila with some good defending. Nurusule Obuka combines to get the ball away. Kingsley Braille. He's also pulled a muscle. Now Razak. That's a foul on him. Referee Hansen says play on. He whistles. Certainly, something must have gone wrong. Has to have a man down. Yeah, Mirusuli again is struggling with something. It seems to be that same muscle. O'Brien stayed down after that challenge on him by Larry, which was a risky one, though. But he still got enough on the ball to make the referee think there was no foul in there, which I agree with. But... It was a risky one. That was a bright. Take a look at Larry. He came strongly on him, but got enough on the ball. And that is where Brian now is still down. But credit to Brian. He kept chasing and kept probing and put Nurusuli under pressure. He won that ball, but couldn't find this man. It was Larry who got in the tackle and got, him, got it in brilliantly. We've done 48 minutes, 45 plus three minutes of other time. And it's Nuru Sule who is struggling with his muscle in the tie. Kinsley Braille, Cape Coast born, forward man for Inter Allies. Energetic and a workaholic attacker. Max Hansen has whistled. And that's the end of the first half here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Inter Allies nil, Hatsavog nil. Interesting exchanges between the two sides. Difficult to pick which of the two really dominated the first half. Hatsavog chasing the first win. Inter Allies also chasing their first win of the season. But after 45 minutes, but it will be a double substitution for Hatsavog. Eric Dizan, the Ivorian international, gets a chance to make his debut for Hatsavok in a competitive game. Adusoa is equally around. Possible replacement for Nuru Sule. Communication isn't going down well between the fourth referee and the other work officials for this substitution. Abednego Tete is the one to be sacrificed for the Ivorian. So Abednego scored a hat-trick against Hatsavok in 2016 when he was playing for Bechem United. He ended that season with 12 goals, but in Hatsavok's jersey, he's yet to score for them in a competitive game. He did score for them in the preseason in games against Elmina, Shaxx and the likes. Yeah. But here is the Ivorian, Eric Dizan. So Eric Dizan also walks straight into the attacking area. It's still the same 4 3 3 system for Akira Atafuk and Robert Adusoa. Partners, the captain Moa Hassan, in the absence of Nuri Sule, who struggled with a tire injury in the first half.
referee Max Johansson. All eyes on him to kickstart the second half of this game here at the Crasport Stadium. Hatsabok into allies. Yeah, so it's uh, again 433 now for Inter Allies. Different shape from what they played in the first 45 minutes where they went with a 442. Hartford will hope that they get the start they had in their first half. And on this occasion, take the chances that they missed in that first half. For Interlies, though, they'll be looking to start the second half a lot better than they started the first, where they were a bit rattled. Clarence from Abanga, right on the feet of Manaf. throwing flicked on allies trying to get it out of danger this time Hashmin will get it away captain leading by example one of the longest serving players of this entire life squad Hashmin Obuka Goes past Kujo. Mamani Lawali. Mohamed Al Hassan tries to find Patrick Rozak. But Fadi Ibrahim is pressed to the ball cleverly, wins possession. On his weaker right foot, he gets a clearance that is not one of the best. Now here is Satsabok, Manaf Uma. That's awful from Manaf. Quite clearly, highlights and how well he's been in the game today. He has so much promise, Manaf is sometimes disappointed when it's not working for him, but he has to really or take a second look at himself and, you know, start believing in his own abilities a lot more, ask questions of himself and find the answers to it. But he's got the, ta he's got the talent, he's got the quality in that locker. He just needs to open it. Free kick for Hearts of Oak, Dizan. A lot have been spoken about Eric Dizan and the quality he brings into this side. And I'm a dexterous midfielder who is able to also play as a false nine. Let's see what he brings into this setup. Emmanuel Ajete. Larry Sumaila. Oh, lovely dummy. Sends a deep cross in. Rashid can't get a hand to it, but the ball rolls over without any connection from a phobia. And it's a goal kick for Inter Allies. Yeah, it's a lovely dummy there by Larry, but it's cross was into nobody in particular it was too high and then too far for anybody to get anything on it I mean it's this one who comes in now to replace a bad neck with Peter, who I must say did have a very poor first half didn't work for him his touches went not on you know what half chances didn't really look like one that is ready for the game yet maybe um, he still need yeah, perhaps. Yeah, I thought he showed too much of the ball to the defender. Patrick Razak impeding goalkeeper Rashid Seydou. Alex 
Kujo has failed to make an impact since he came, but it's barely four minutes. You can pardon him. Manaf Uma. He didn't watch around, but he eventually gets the corner kick for half the book. Abanga and Hashmin exchange of words, but I'm sure it's just for the betterment of the team. Yeah. Everybody's strongly trying to make a case. That reminds me of how the works. Nuru Sule and then his central defensive partner Moal Hassan in that game against Ashko but eventually it paid off for stability at the back yeah I'm sure the manager will be happy at least there's communication at the back and somebody cares and somebody wants someone to take a responsibility in the end like you said it's, it's, it's to get the team to you know, get the result that is so desired. Manav. Lawali. Manav. Lamte brought down. Free kick. Goes past Ovuka through his legs. Here is Kujo. That's all to hang on to it, and certainly he was going to get this free kick in his favor. So that's why she trying to calm down Abanga in that altercation with Ashmi. Yeah. Nete culprit. Lamte gets a return from Asso. Lovely play from Abanga. That's a free kick. So that's we have Kujo down in pain. But Maxwell Hansen has none of that as his business. Yeah, I played that on as so an advantage allies, to allies. Yeah. Turf now. And this time he whistles for game to be halted. So they are attended to. Yeah, I thought he played that one for an advantage for allies. Because they were still very much in the attacking third. And... They have the ball, but this was heavy on from Patrick Razak on his man. The new man who got off for them, Kujo. Nete was looking for the run of Eric Dizan, couldn't quite find him. Free kick. Mana hangs on to it. Dizan. He's got Larry. And Larry sends across. Not particularly good. Handball against Braille. Yeah. He should be lucky if he doesn't get a yellow card. That was deliberate. Yeah. Lucky Brian. Yeah. You know, was the, pl uh, the, 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 the pressure coming on here, of course, from Moa Hassan. And once that press is on, that, that pressure is on, it's off balance. And at that moment, he's trying to, you know, get his body in the way. Robert Ado tries to drive. Poor from Ado. Richmond Lante, the former Wafa midfielder. not been lucky with injuries but if he's fully fit he's a delight to watch Alex Asso that's all to find Ajete Kujo an unexpected but powerful drive from Kujo decided to take the goalkeeper by surprise. And yeah, that was ambitious from Kujo. Trying to strike that one on target in trouble, Arthur, but the goalkeeper saw it all the way. 
It has been the problem for allies, though, because they are almost always outnumbered when they are going forward against Hatter Fulken. They need to commit a lot more bodies forward to give themselves a chance. Hatter Volk have a corner kick. Headed away by Hashmin. Razak. For the penalty? Referee says no. All eyes on him. I thought he came on the chest of the player there, but had to players with protesting because they thought they had seen something. Referee shakes his head. In disagreement, in disagreement with the call for the penalty. Says, there's nothing in there. He's had a, a decent game today, referee. He's been good today. He's, he's been firm in making decisions. Not been under pressure. There you see the incident again as he rushes onto the ball. Nets it right the first time. And he here from Manaf right onto his chest from the captain Hashmin. And he pointed to it, Hashmin, that the ball came off my chest, nowhere near my arm. <laughs> so he declares himself not guilty. Not guilty. Nete. Lovely dink looking for Razak. That's a clever header from Ali. Lamte. Dangerous position to lose the ball. Opin Junior. That's unpardonable. Yeah. Rush of blood there by Opin Junior. Desperation setting in for hard to focus. You can see Manaf asking Opin Junior to, to slot that one through for Patrick Razak. I'm actually surprised that Nete. While he was trying to dink that one through to Patrick Razak, he, he didn't take that strike because it was on for him. They must make the right choices once they get into these areas. Because the opportunities are coming. It's Neil Neil. 11 minutes of second hour of action. Hats of work into allies. It's the Ghana Premier League on Star Times. Manaf. Eric Dizan. Ali. Clever tackle. Yeah, Manaf asked too much of Dizan. The ball was closer to Ali than Dizan, but he did well to apply the pressure to make sure the defender was cutting across for that throwing. The Nigerian brought in from Remo Stars has been very, very good for allies, partnering Hashmin at center back. So allies, you can always trust them to come up with three or four expatriates in every single season. Obuka, ambitious but very poor. Yeah. Just that, that, that powerful run about him. Not, not, a, not a best decision on that occasion. We know he's got this on his locker, but from that range, you need something really special to be the goalkeeper. That was nowhere near special. From Obuka to Larry, Sumaila. I think we are seeing a lot more of Manaf in the second half. He, he's closer to the attackers than he was in that first half. And that is where he loves to operate Manaf. Here is Manaf. That's what to hang on to it. He gets the free kick, Manaf. I want that too many. Again, where are the options for him to pick the pass? Good work here to recover the ball, but it was pegged back by Abuja. No good news for Ghana's campaigners in the CAF inter-club competition. Asante Kodoko held 1-1 by Noadubu in Mauritania. And Asante Gold held goalless by Salitas of Burkina Faso in Obuasi. So there's all to play for in the second leg stated for the next weekend. Here is Emmanuel Nete for hard to work. So the return leg is stated for the next two weeks from now. They will be in action for the domestic campaign next weekend. Both of our standing matches to play as well. Because they were not part of the team that played in the Premier League this weekend. 
Nete delivers. Flick down by Mo Al Hassan, but it won't trouble allies. Yeah. Nete sent it that one, but I don't think it was particularly a good ball in. He was asking so much of anybody getting his head onto it to try and then direct it on target. Should I put a lot more height and a lot more power on it? Robert Adusoa. Kojo Bin Jr. Good control. Manaf. Nete. Sends in one. Rashid Seydou comes out. Courageous goalkeeping from the Allied shot stopper. Yeah. Again, not the best of balls. Again, from Nete. He has to do a lot better with the person. Easy for the goalkeeper to come out and claim it. Was to nobody in particular. I mean, there are two things you can do when you're crossing the ball. You see, you are picking the man and finding him for a pinpoint cross. Or you are putting the ball in a very difficult area for the goalkeeper to come and claim and ask somebody to get on the end of it. But once you put the ball so close to the goalkeeper, it's always difficult for attackers to get on the end of it because the least contact with the goalkeeper is a foul. Awesome! Brilliant goal! Into allies have brought in the deadlock, which will long take. From nowhere, he pops up with his power drive. Hatsabok are down by one goal to zero. Into our lives. What a goal. Oh, this is a rocket of a shot there. That is a bullet of a shot. Out of nowhere. Totally against the run of play. And it's a magnificent hit by Ritman Lante. The movement on the ball, the swerve on the ball. The goalkeeper, Atta, had no answers to this. This is a world-class finish. It's a belter. Stupendous. An absolutely stunning goal from Richmond Lamte. No questions. The former West Africa Football Academy midfielder has broken the deadlock since joining from Wafa the last three seasons. He's become a mainstay of this team. And this goal will certainly lift his confidence level. He has scored a goal that could pass to be the goal of match day three. It could be the goal of the season, actually. This is a really special goal. It's a world-class finish. And this game has been close. It's been lacking the goals. It needed something special. And that was special. What a hit. What a strike. Uh, what a goal this is. This is a magnificent hit. It's, it's an amazing hit from the distance, the range. And Hats of Oak have been pegged back. Hats of Oak have got some chasing to do. Inter Allies are on the move again. Alex Asso. Braille. Kujo gives it away to Mamani. Free kick for Hats of Oak. We are looking at a player who is hitting a strike from 35 to 38 yards away from goal. I mean, look at the swerve on the ball. It's amazing. It really is. And he, he's not going to forget about this goal anytime soon. Maybe never. Especially against the glorious Atabok. That is a really, really special goal. It really is. But he's been finding this game with his touches, his passes, yeah. his dribbles. And he's capped that one with this magnificent strike. I mean, when he's on the ball, he's decent. He, makes, he plays the safest pass. What we didn't see coming was him lining that one up from there. He stunned everybody really watching him. He stunned everybody, including his teammates and his manager. And that is a really special goal. Inter allies in the lead. Ben Mensa has the books. Reserve goalkeeper. There was nothing Richard Attack could do about that one. Not even two goalkeepers are saving that. Not even two. Not, Not even two. Goals. The movement of the ball because the ball was flying away that it dipped right at the, at the right time to get under under the crossbar nete lovely pass hashmin will take no chances uh, eric design a bit late for that one
Yeah, that's Nete's cross again. Again, the poor ball in from Nete. Had to look, look back on that. In the first three minutes of the first half, I'd be thinking that were, were those the moments that has come back to haunt us, or are those the moments that have come back to cost us? And let's not forget, it, it's it's it allies their first goal of the season. Exactly, they've gone two games without a goal. What a special way to break that down. The Jew goalless against Dreams FC yeah. and lost to Karela I go to nail. in Agnasi. Here they are with a special a belt actually to, to open the scoring for the season. These on again. Good clearance from Abanga. Yeah. Radio Buka. That uncharacteristic of Radio Buka. Yeah, it really is. Sucks up his evening of frustration. And it allies now must be careful. Even though they've got the goal, there's still plenty of minutes to the play. You must be careful not to sit too deep and invite the pressure on them because hard to fit can cause the problems if they invite too much pressure on them. Again, they've got pace as well. Maybe it could be the trick as well. Invite the pressure, hit them on the break. Because hard to fit would have to be chasing the game. Braille. Lays one on to Alex Asso. He's got Mohammed to beat. So that's a foul of Mohammed Al Hassan from Alex Asso. Karela United remain unbeaten. They won today against Dreams FC and Dwarfs picked up their first win against Breku Chelsea in Cape Coast. That takes Karela to the top of the pile. Absolutely. Two wins, one draw. Impressive start to the season. Nete. Obuka. Passman for Larry Sumaila. Very casual approach from her to work at this stage. Maybe it's the way up how to unleash the pressure on allies. But here they are. Kinsley Braille. He's got Alex Asso in front. And Braille switches. That was a shocking pass. A poor pass to Kiki. Very poor. Ivan Skujo. He gets the corner kick. He had nowhere to go, Kojo. No, really, nobody really offered him. He'd be happy to the corner for his team to then get a lot more bodies into the box. Allies have a corner. Ajete sends one deep in the box. Abin Jr. would want to restart this for her to work. Clever play from Abanga. Intelligent, calm, and always reliable. I mean, Peter Lim will be happy with what he's seen of his defenders. You know, the captain has been in partnership with Isa Ali, has been good. Abanga has slotted in very well into the right back row. And Fahd Ibrahim has also been solid, keeping an eye on Patrick Razak. He will be very happy with the way they've played. Sapon started from the bench in the game against Ashko. He comes in again this time to replace. Manaf Uma. It's not a quiet evening, Manaf. Yeah, I was, was beginning to warm up into this half a little bit, but you have to change direction now. And, uh, you know, Mitchell offers a lot more uh, in terms of power going forward. Could you bring it now out of there? Ryan gives away possession. Sapon 
Obuka. Ado for Sumaila. Obin Junior can go past Isa Ali. It's a corner for Hatsobo. Good pressure from Obin Junior. Yeah, good pressure, but good cover up there by Fad Ibrahim. He knew that his man had been beaten, and then he had to cover up for him because. This man was out of the picture, but that is good reading of the game for such a young man. Referee has a word for Abanga and Al Hassan. Nettest corner, headed away by Ajete. Another opportunity for us about Kashmir. Try the line to well. The foul of Abuka. Yeah, it's good on Abuka. But that was an unintentional from Kujo. That is the, the leg that catches his face a bit. So Vuka is down, but he really wants to pick it himself up quickly because time is not his best friend now. Time is against them, really. Mamani Lawali. Sapo. Ado. Buka, good play. This around is marked brilliantly. But again, the end product doesn't yield any positive results. Larry Sumaila sends the one in, away by Ashmin. Not the best of clearances from the captain. Mamani. Larry's cross. Good catch, Saidu. Yeah, comfortable for the goal to come and claim it again. An example of what we've always mentioned. Bosso up and Hanks. Time for the goalkeeper to take all the steps off his line, watch all the ball, the ball all the way and come and gather it. Seventy-two minutes. Entire life one. Hats of work nil. The last time in Tarlite we talked about was a truncated league of two seasons ago. Last season it was a draw. And so allies with an improved performance this evening. They would be excited to pick all three points at the expense of their illustrious neighbors in the city. Yeah. But stop top that as well. It's internalized in the three games that they've played or if like this game is not over, so the two games that they've played they've considered only a goal. And that was from the sports. Sure. And they had complaints about that. Yeah, so defensively they seem to be very sound, as we've seen in the whole of the game today. Alex Asso is tearing away. There's so much space. Can he grab the second for Alex? He falls in the process. Too bad, Asso. Tired legs, baby. Tired legs, baby. But that's disappointing. Left of the hook. Yeah, that is disappointing because that was a big, big chance for allies. Really was a big chance because it was very much ahead of the all the players, and I thought that he took the boy in his stride very well with his first two touches, but 
lost his footing. Unlucky Alex Arthur. Disappointing. Lawale Mamani. Radio Obuka. Kujobin Jr. Abanga wins it. Richmond, the ghost car. Finds Brahe. Kinsley. Looks for Astor's run. No foul. Nope. It was a late call. I thought Mohamed legitimately got that ball. Nah. He got nowhere near the ball. Brian was asking for that run. And once the run was made, that so is it. was a push. That was a push on Asu. For Moa Hassan. No he has to be careful though. Yeah, he was nowhere near the ball. The ball was very much in the strides of the Italian attacker. It's 75 minutes. 15 more minutes of regulation time to wrap up this game. Allies leading by that power drive from Richmond Lamte. Yeah, there you see the goal again. Just one touch to set himself and struck it so hard and well. It's a pure strike. It's the purity in that strike that fascinates me. Such a magnificent hit from where he did take the strike. No one would have thought that he had that in his locker from that range. We are looking at 35 to 38 yards of the goal. And we are also looking at a strike that beats a very, very good shot stopper. Exactly. In reach other time. Asso is making way for Michael Kobe. He'll be disappointed in the end product of that run he made. Yeah. But Kobe comes in in the last 14 minutes. Asso has put in a good shift. He's not scored today. He didn't score in the truncated league last season, but yeah. he contributed with one assist for allies. But his work ethics, his energy has never been in doubt. He works hard for the team. He will learn, he's still young. He will learn in the final third and apply a lot more on his finishing touches. As long as the team wins, I'm sure that's what makes him happen. Fad Ibrahim will try his luck from this angle. The world does his job. Abanga. Offside. from Hatterford because since going down by a goal they've really not created chances and to think that they were going to put the allies under pressure it's allies really that are finding so much joy with uh, creating decent opportunities and asking all the questions of Hatterford and putting their defenders under pressure like this they must do better Hatterford some 12 minutes to go and Odu knows the pressure is mounting. Speculations about him being replaced by Costa Papic is widespread in the Ghanaian media. But here is allies looking dangerous. Ajetse tries to cut back. But Larry will take full credit for that yeah. tackle. He seemed beating. He seemed a long way beating, but that's what to recover. Look, he was nowhere near that picture. But in a flash, he pops up to put in a great block to deny the cross. Lovely recovery. No show for Benjamin Afutu. No show. The mainstay and a regular of the team now watching from the bench. As some have said, Odin is a, is a manager that develops talent. No one that really can, you know the top flight do the business offside michael Pogi. so kujo is down 
calls for some attention. I'm sure it's from, it's from this one here. As Kudu spins off him. So once Kudu doesn't get that ball, the run there from Bray is offside surely because he, he was in an offside position when the pass was played. And to be fair, the pass wasn't intended for him. Makujo was, uh, at that time, had been brought down or had fallen. He couldn't make the chase. Still staying on the turf, seemed to be in real trouble here. I thought he was caught in his back. By Abisoa. Called on this uh, heel, I should say. And that is why you see him still. But it's rolled into, onto the touchline there, onto, out of play to get the game to continue. 80 minutes for Hearts of Oak to redeem themselves. Radi Oguka, Brian handled that ball. This is the second time he's deliberately handling the ball. Uh, there it is, the Brian. That should have been a yellow card for him. Michael Corby. Okay. Can't go past Adam. Somewhere, somehow, Hearts of Oak are struggling to get out of their own area. They need the ball to be in the other half of the pitch rather than here rather the ball comes back to them not good and enough i like the more confident of the two sides yeah Obuka. they need to be progressive they need to be positive attitude must change towards goal larry sumaila razak is calling now he has it that's eric diza fad ibrahim He's kept that left back row positive for allies without any problems. Razak has not been successful on his runs down that side. Cross comes in, Rashid Seydou. This time, gets a fist on it. Ovuka, Razak. Some if, if, if intelligent defending from allies. If there's, if there's a, a joint man of the match award you give it to abanga i'll give it to the entire back four of allies of allies they've been incredible today with awareness positioning tackling and for every situation that has confronted them and that they've been amazing in the way they've dealt with it every one of them fad ibrahim isa ali the captain has been musa and abanga who's playing the position where he's not preferred or it's not it's not his first choice position and it's it's been amazing to watch them is the reason they've considered only ones this season and, and the goal scorer well. is in pain richmond lampe yeah. not too sure what happened to him i like maybe so this is the moment where inter allies shot hearts of work with his belter from lampe and this goal will always be one of the best for Inter Allies. At the bio this score a couple of intelligent and beautiful goals. Yeah. But this one is a pure class. Well, as great goals go, this one is right on top there with it. Right on top there. Stories have been told about the great Steven Apia scoring from the center circle when he played in the local league. Several other players have probably made great goals. It's not a regular goals carrier, but that is a really special one from Richmond Lamte. A really special one. I'm not sure he's going to hit the ball any better than that ever in his career. Sure. <laughs> Nete! Blocked by Abanga. Lawali! Diza Nete! <laughs> Everybody's invited to shoot. Yeah, puffing and popping, but... Nothing is working. Everybody's invited to try the shot. Yeah. But again, it's credit to the Italian backline. Everybody putting in a shift and putting their body on the line to make that block. And some of them are decent here there from Hartford making a mistake. But they've been brilliantly defended. Obuka's cross away by Ali. Larry wants to go for power. Disappointing from Larry Sumaila. Yeah.
that would be some precious three points for Henrik Lem. That would be huge. That would be really, really huge. Questions have been asked of this Allies team. Where can they go from here without the Antibio and the Amas? But listen, if they beat Accra Hatta Folk, six minutes to go, but if they win this game, that would do their confidence a lot of good. They would believe a lot more in themselves. And this back four is not missing Frank Asinki, their best defender last season. Absolutely. Mr. Ali's inclusion seems to have covered up so well for Inter Allies. I think he's in Denmark, and I'm sure he'll be happy that his team is leading 1 0 here at the Accra Stadium. Yeah. They deal with the situation so well, this back line. They've been impressive, really, I've been. I've been Jr., he's been a pale shadow of himself in the second half. He grabbed the brace against Ashcote, but he's in nowhere near goal today. Yeah. Abanga again. That's an incredible game throughout. Freeman Chauncey, the Liberian, comes in for Interallies to replace the goal scorer, Richmond Lamte. You can, you can watch this a hundred times and over and still not be satisfied because it's so good to watch. I speak about the quality in the Ghana Premier League and I will say we've got quality in it. Of course, for a league to be attracting yeah. we've got quality. foreigners willing and ready to play in the Ghanaian top flight. There's a Nigerian and an Ivorian in half the books team and there is a Liberian in the entire life setup. Congolese. And Congolese of course now has a book set up. There he is. Right there. So the quality has never been in doubt. One man for Allies go down again, and it looks like it's Kingsley Braille. Yes, the Cape Coast boy. It's a willing runner. It's, Very it's, willing runner. It's, it's, it's a set minute, but he's still running. And then nobody comes close to him, but just feels that he's a, he's a bit in trouble there. Just a bit throws. of tiredness? Yep. Tired legs. I mean, we must give credit to the coaches here because these players are putting in some very good shifts. In other leagues, they are allowed to make five substitutions. Here is three on the back of a very, very short preseason that they had. Some of them are amazing job. Larry wants to locate Razak, but Fad Ibrahim has been excellent all evening. He was impeded by Razak. He's come up against Obin Junior, Abed Tete. Everybody has Patrick tried Razak. up against him, but everybody, he's reigned supreme. Yeah, everybody has going to have to try him. But he's conquered all of them so far this, this evening. Fadi Ibrahim came, saw, and he's conquered. Three minutes from the first win for Inter Allies in the 2020-2021 Ghana Premier League. Laris Herda. Razak controls. Isa Ali, this was the say, anywhere we do, <laughs> without clearance. Obin <laughs> Junior, Lawali Mamani, Michel Sapon, allies, calm in defense. Now they've got a chance to break. Kujo. Braille. Referee holds up play because Hatsubo have a man down. Imano Nete. I'm not too sure he can complete the last two minutes of this game. And that would be, that would be trouble there for Hatsafuk because if they've called on the players that they want to call on, all three of them. So you see that he's playing through the pain or he's yeah, playing with ten men the last few minutes of the game. But going into that challenge there, you can see it very painful for him. It's hobbling off. Doesn't look good. 
Man as... on Nete. He's playing against his former side into allies. Yeah. He joined Asobok the last season. Doesn't look good. Nope. Doesn't look good nope. 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 Went from the captain to his goalkeeper. Well appreciated. Absolutely. I mean, they've played as a team. They've worked hard for each other, covered each other. A typical example was when we saw Isa, who had been beaten by Obey Junior and Fadi Brian, had to then read the situation and sit in for him. They've done that throughout the whole night. Abanga doing the same for Hashmin and vice versa. Lamte and Abuga and Mifud as well. As when Brian did, did that as well for the Mifuders and Anajit when the game started together with Richard Aqua. All of them working so hard for each other, but questions again will be asked of this Hearts of Folk team that which one is the best midfield combination? Is it the Botri, Nete, Afutu? Three minutes of additional time for Hearts of Oak to rescue the night. Lawali gets a foul. Hearts of Oak needs to get himself out of this Defeat. A long one in there. That is tearing at them in the face. Mm. Push by Razak on Fad Ibrahim on a banga. I'm not sure where the foul is. That is why Patrick Razak asking questions. Asking all the questions. One minute of additional three minutes done. Hatsabok is chasing the game here. Here is Eric Dizan. Manuel Sapon. Oh, play, go, go, go on from Obin Jr. End product. Horrible. Let him down sometimes. Very well to not beg his man and get into space. How could he not have picked a simple five yard pass? Only he would know. Handball against Michael Covey for my Elmerick striker. Also played for Tama Youth Eric Covey. Mamani tried to play the one two with Razak. Couldn't quite find his man, Ovuka. Richard Atta. Time is now on the side of Hotsabok. Yeah, and they are playing with a man down. A defeat is inevitable at this stage. Well, in football, we've seen teams hang on and pull their strings. You have a feeling there's one more chance in this. That would be miraculous for Hotsabok. Yeah. That Rashid, talking about. who said thank you for this feeble drive. Three minutes of additional time done and exhausted. Maxwell Hansen must be wrapping up this game with his final whistle. Yeah. So that's the attempt from Michel Sapo. It's all over. Into allies. Where they are only second competitive win over Hearts of Oak in a top flight game. That magnificent strike from Richmond Lamte has given the 11 to 1 boys a 1 nil victory over their more illustrious and glorious hearts of Oakside. It's over, and Allies are the victors. 1 nil for Allies. Yeah, a spirited fight, a spirited performance by Allies. But for Hearts of Oak, the woes continue, the disappointment continues. Lots of questions will be asked in the coming days. Managerial change, technical heads, the change, administrative change. Lots of questions are going to be asked of this House of Folk team, and the, the look on the faces tells the whole The home side have beaten out Sabok by one goal to nil at the Accra Sports Stadium.